Okay, so ang mangyayari dyan is, yung first year, ito yung level 7. Kasi sa UK qualification, they are on a level. Pag nasa high school ka, lent nun. Okay, pati sa UK, Canada, Australia, ganun na systems nila. So, pagka nakatapos ka na level 4, 5, 6, ibig sabihin nun, natapos mo yung whole bachelor's degree. So, ibig sabihin, pag nasa level 7 ka, first year ng master's. Okay, so master's in anything, you can use this ticket level 7 to go for master's in whatever you want. But usually, we offer the le level 7 to master's in business administration. Master of business administration. Okay, and so it's a requirement. Pero, ang... Um, style kasi ng UK qualifications is meron silang tinatawag na RPL or recognition prior to learning. So, nire-recognize yung experience ninyo as supervisors or managers. Hindi naman kasi yun matututunan in a classroom setup lang. Yung experience ninyo is very, very valuable. And that is your ticket to be in this entry naman sa level 7. So, hindi siya, meron siyang arrangement that it should be open for everybody who is interested. As as long as they, uh, they comply to the requirement. So, this is our CEO. He joined the doctor noon. Okay. <laughs> okay lang. Okay. So, um, since wala siya, so ako na lang. Okay, so checklist muna natin. Uh, what are the things that are expected of you? So, you are working as a supervisor or a manager or you are a team leader and college graduate or graduate, high school graduate has a burning desire to finish MBA. Kailangan interest. Hi, good afternoon. Sige, sige. Okay, so... Kaya ako nilagay yung burning desire kasi hindi pwedeng pinilit ka lang or kinonvince. It really has to be something that you really want to do kasi hindi siya madali. Okay? It requires sacrifice some of your leisure time. Bawasan ng konti ang Facebook, Instagram kasi you really cannot do it pag hindi ka magsasacrifice. Nine months lang naman, hindi forever. <laughs> okay? So if you really want to do something big, you have to do something which you have not done yet before. So, ganito yun. No? So, you have to be dedicated, focused, and genuinely interested. Yun ang checklist. Okay? Actually, mas gusto ko nang i-fulfill nyo muna yung last three bago yung, yung iba dyan. Kasi hindi talaga matatapos if you don't have those. No? Kailangan talaga ng burning. So, ano ba important siya ng um, diploma na to? Um, first thing, you can entry up para sa ating top up. Pwede kang makapasok sa top up, which is you can complete the MBA diploma. So, ibig sabihin, you will get two certificates if you continue. You can enroll to the master's uh, degree that you will be having it as a master uh, diploma. So, magkakaroon ka ng dalawang diploma. One for level seven and one for the top up, which is MBA na yung nakasun. Master of Business Administration. So, Kung level 7 lang ang kinuha nyo, hindi kayo level 7. Plus, it's 120 units. So, therefore, 75 units. Pag mga manager yan, kailangan nyo mataas ng konti. So, it depends on what type of job you are uh, applying to. No? And, of course, kapag meron ka ng masters, eh, there will be better opportunities for you, di ba? manager, o, di ba? <laughs> Kasi competitive ka na. And you have that confidence, no? Plus, you are really confident kasi meron na kayong experience, meron pa kayong diploma. So, hindi ka na mahihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihihih
Tako. Mamuna muna ako. Ito yung aking graduation. Oh, Uwan ka na ba? Kung magpiplay ba ang volume ito? Oo, oh, sasama ka. Ay, wala siyang sound. Oh, saglit, saglit. Nawala yun. Ito muna akong sitting. Tama. <laughs> Dali lang. <laughs> Not... Oo, oh, 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 oh. pag natapos mo na siya. Check natin. Ulit? 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 Yes, ma'am. Yan yan. Nawala yung sa... Okay, return to... Hindi ko na-fix yung audio settings kanina. Ha? Nawala yung drama. Okay, so ulit, ulit, ulit. Yan, para ma-inspire naman. Ayan, ulit. We are Rebecca and we are She can do it. You can also do it. Diba? <laughs> Ayun. So, you're proud na. Ako punta ko doon. Kasi walang Pilipino doon. Ako lang Pilipino doon. <laughs> so, I'm really very proud. At uh, hindi naman so proud na nag-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i
And the progression ninyo is ito nga. Okay, after you complete the level 7, you choose from this university of the Scotland, it depends sa inyo. Pero ang, ang sa amin is ARU. Yun sa amin, okay? And uh, I'm not so particular with the others kung ano yung mga uh, expectation kasi hindi naman ako nagpunta nun. So I can only say about um, entry requirements, you already have done that, the checklist sa una, no? But to have an idea dun sa system ng education, Okay, so you have level 3 senior high school, and level 4, 5, and 6 are for tapos ng 4, 5, 6. Therefore, you can go straight to level 7. Okay, so since kayo naman are uh, under the program called RPL, the recognition prior to learning, wherein we're going to assess you, which is na approved naman na, as you know, yung mga, kasi we're gonna ask approval for your qualifications. Hindi namin kayo i-enroll agad. You have to first submit your credentials, yung um, CV ninyo, employment certificate, then they will approve. And then we will um, have you start the, the, the course. Ganun siya. So, you'll be under the RPL or called the Recognition Prior to Learn. Saglit lang ha, kasi kalimutan ko yung chair. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Okay, sorry for that. Balik tayo. Asan na ito? So, yan. Um, meron din silang options for you. Depende kung gusto mo kabilis. <laughs> meron din silang your level 7. Okay? And then, if you want to have the doctors for business administration, you'll take root 6, okay? So, yung sa atin, okay, this one, masters, okay? Uh, 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 na gusto mong tunin. Uh -huh. And, kung bata-bata ka pa, they will, <laughs> they will, uh, no, I mean, bata-bata pa tayo, enter uh, they will let you go there. No. Alimbawa, ikaw kahit tapusin mo na assignment, acceleration, certification, you have to go to the normal. Not allow you if you are not 16 years old and above, you know? yeah. So, anyway, sa inyo nga sabi ko, you already have the skill that you possess, so you don't need to take uh, the course that you have because this case you have developed through your experience hindi na for a classroom set up no mm -hmm. so you just have to submit your previous credentials and other certifications your passport copy and your valid id and birth certificate if the name is an issue kasi um we are very particular with this dahil kapag sinamin na namin yung pangalan nyo um kung ano yung nasa passport yung pwede namin palitan kung mag attach kayo ng Supporting ah, supporting. Like birth certificate, nandun pa rin yung pangalan nyo nung maiden name, tsaka nung pinanganak kayo. So, if you want to adapt your maiden name, yun ang ilalagay niya. I-note na lang namin na please refer to the birth certificate. Or naghiwalay kayo ni, ni husband, nag-separate kayo, then you don't want to use anymore. Kasi may mga cases na gano'n. So, yun yung mga pwedeng gawin. So, mag magbibigay sila ng court order that she is allowed to use now her, or she, she, she prefers to use her uh, maiden name, gano'n. Basta proof lang na lalabas yung gusto nyong pangalan. Okay? So, mangyayari lang yan with the birth certificate at saka for the birth certificate. Oh, kasi may sipong ka. Kasi pa ako mag-message. Kasi pa ako mag-message. Kasi pa ako mag-message. Okay. 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 Right. So, aims ang diploma naman tayo. So, siyempre, develop knowledge. At saka, you're going to um, show that you understand the complexities of leadership and strategic management sa context ng business. And here are the modules that you're going to finish. Ayan. 
At yan yung mga kakatanggap ko pala ng aking diploma. Kaya proud na proud pa. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, binila ko sarili ng trophy. <laughs> Ayan. So, ano siya? Ayan yung mga modules. And, uh, ito is, let me just, uh, it, 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 the, the aim of this is magkaroon kayo ng um, recognized qualification. That means something that is recognized all over the world internationally, di ba? And of course, to get a curriculum supported by recent and relevant contemporary business environments. So kasi, if you don't take this course, you will not get it actually in a normal business environment kasi hindi lahat ng, in, ng corporations ina-apply yung concepts, no? And this is your opportunity to learn about uh, skills and knowledge that can be immediately applied. So my concept type pinag-usapan, you have to write down the concept how you're going to apply it in your in your working space ngayon. Ganun yung concept. Ganun ang style ng paggawa ng assignment. Okay? And also, prepare you for a higher position in the management if if matapos. Kasi yun naman ang purpose, di ba? Hindi lang to get that as a self-fulfillment. But, of course, para maging maximize naman to get promotion, di ba? And higher income. And of course, the most important thing is you can proceed to the MBA diploma. Okay? So, merong sampung modules dito, but you are only required to submit eight Ayan sila. Lahat. So, you're gonna talk about managing team performance. So, kung ma-experience ka na, madali mo na lang yan masasagot. You just have to put it in words. No? And IT and strategic decision making. Okay? Yung strategic management project. Sa 705, gagawa kayo dyan ng um, little thesis. Okay? And in 706, uh, direction and planning. Sa 711, development as a strategic manager. And then, dito sa optional units, pipili lang kayo ng dalawa. Okay, so for example, Miss Anna would prefer to take 703 and 712, it's okay. That means you can just um, take an option here. Pero sa mga mandatory, you have to take them all. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng mandatory and optional. Okay, so pwede you can take either 710 and 712 dito sa optional, okay, or 703 and 708. So that's that's your choice, prerogative nyo na yun kung anong gusto nyo kukunin. Okay, kasi um, maybe some of you are already working in the finance sector, ganyan. So, medyo alam nyo yung 703, yun na lang kukunin ko para mas madali. O yung iba naman siguro nasa HR department, so it would be easier for you to take 712 sa optional. Ah, ganun, no? Okay, so our program is that we're gonna give all the lectures sa lahat. That means you will be paying for uh, the whole package. So, whether you take it or not, I'll still be giving you the, ano, the lecture. But you will only have to submit eight assignments. Okay? So, pwede mag-join doon sa next class. And you will have access to all the resources pa, kahit hindi nyo siya itite. Okay? But only you have to submit eight assignments. So, six na mandatory at dalawang optional. Okay? I hope that's clear. Uh, so far, may question ba? Wala naman. Wala pa. Mamaya. <laughs> Mamaya ang question. Okay? Okay, so itong ating um, first year of MBA program is assignment-based curriculum. Therefore, lahat ng module nyo may assignment kayong gagawin. Okay? And I will be helping you out through the GLH or yung tinatawag natin guided learning hours. It's important kasi merong tayong minimum hours per module na kailangan yung i-prove na nakuha nyo. And that is uh, by logging into our portal and also logging into your attendance. Kaya medyo stricto kami sa, sa attendance pagdating sa AP qualifications kasi um, binibilang nila yung guided learning hours. Okay, in this case, you will have to spend 60 hours per module. Cumulative na yun siya ng kinakausap niya ko within the week. Okay, emails, Zoom classes, portal attendance, classroom attendance. Okay, so kailangan meron kayong attendance lagi on uh, portal, attendance. Napansin nyo yung nag-attendance kayo, may portal attendance, classroom attendance, lahat dapat yun meron kayong entry. Kasi paano nyo naman if fulfill yung 60 hours if you're not gonna do that. So basically, you have to spend um, minimum one hour per day or sabihin nating five times a week. Uh, wag na yung Saturday and Sunday. Kailangan meron talaga kayong login every day. Or else hindi nyo mag-fulfill yung 60 hours. Kasi ito, kasama na yung tutor at saka yung wala yung tutor. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga yan? Ano ba? Classroom, um, supervise, uh, classroom supervised na tutorial, tapos work-based learning. Halimbawa, meron kayong um, 
um, something that is at work and it's applicable, pwede nyo rin gawin yun. So, depende. Halimbawa, yung mga ibang student natin in business management, um, ang assignment nila is working on with teams. So, uh, the question is, how are you going to communicate with your team? Halimbawa. So, they have documented their WhatsApp conversation, of course, with permission. Kasi hindi ka pwede maglagay ng pangalan doon ng contact number na wala silang permission, but meron silang documentation na na-apply nila in a work-based learning supervised by the tutor, okay? At saka, syempre, live webinar, telephones, tutorial, at saka all forms of assessment. Ibig sabihin, may mga quizzes din ako ipapa-take sa inyo one time pero hindi lagi, just for assessment purposes. And it is a standard that we have to follow. Kailangan meron pa rin assessment. Ibig sabihin, may quiz pa rin. Pero it will not affect your grade. Okay? So, this is an example of an assignment. Okay? Ganyan yung assignment. This is the first module, actually. So, you're going to have uh, learning outcomes na kailangan yung matutunan. And then, on the other side, you have your assessment criteria. So, ito yung check ko. Now, uh, there are some words that are important. Halimbawa yung, ano nakalagay dyan sa so, una? Critically assess. Ano yan? Critically assess the Please. links between team performance. So, pag sinabing assess, what does it mean? You're gonna uh, see how useful is that? Yung concept na yan ng, uh, in this case, tinatanong yung link between team performance at saka yung strategic objectives. Meaning, yung mga mission and goals niyo as an organization, meron bang link yan with team performance? At ano yung importansya kung may link man, something like that. So, what's the importance, what's the implication, ganun. Or critically evaluate tools and techniques. So, ibig sabihin, pag critically evaluate, so makikita nyo yung level ng tinatanong sa inyo is nasa master's level. Hindi lang what is what defined, no? Yung mga ganyan nasa level 3, yung mga ganyan klase ng assignment. Here, you always have to assess, evaluate, and when you say critically evaluate, you're going to see what is the strength and weaknesses, okay? Ano ba yung positive and negative impacts ng team performance to measure the uh, organizational uh, performance. No, ganyan, ganyan ang klase ng mga questions. And, um, para hindi na kayo mahirapan, meron tayong tinatawag na specification. Okay, ang specification ay uh, it gives you the indicative content wherein these are the topics that they are expecting you to write. So, hindi na kayo maghahagilap. Ano kayo susulat po doon? Ano yung uh, ganyan, no? So, there's already uh, the indicative content wherein dyan ko rin kinukuha yung mga i-discuss ko sa classroom. Mm -hmm. So, hindi na kayo maghahagilap kung ano ba yung susulat ko doon because it's important to have a related literature. So, for example, pag ang pinag-uusapan natin is performance management, um, maraming uh, context in terms of performance appraisal, performance management, um, ibibigay ko na yun sa inyo. So, yun yung purpose ng tutor doon. That's what you're paying for. Okay? Kasi pag napunta na kayo sa top-up, hindi nila yun ibibigay sa inyo. Walang lesson notes na ibibigay sa inyo. Bibigyan na kayo ng access sa library. Okay, this is what you have to do. Ganon. Balang lang sa buhay. <laughs> no, no. I mean, what I'm trying to say is they expect you to be very, very responsible and uh, cope up with the standards with very minimal support. Kasi, um, kaya ang training ko dito sa level 7, pang, pang top-up na talaga. Para if ever in the future you plan to go for the top-up, hindi na kayo mahirapan. So, if the training is difficult, when you go to the masters, hindi na kayo mahirapan. So, kung ano yung mga inexpect expect nila sa inyo sa masters, yun na yung binigay ko dito sa level 7. So, pag nag-top-up kayo, hindi na kayo mawiwin lang. Okay? Hindi na kayo iiyak. <laughs> <laughs> oo, na nangyari sa akin kasi, oo, so ako wala kasi akong tutor I did it on my own lahat so, kaya akala ko nga sabi ko hindi ko natutuloy, okay but um with the grace of God na natuloy ko naman, oh, ang support system pala yung aking asawa <laughs> wala akong peer no? <laughs> wala <laughs> but my husband was there to support so siya sabi ko maganda na meron kayong support system could be friends family your spouse anybody that could push you pag ayaw mo nang ituloy pag sumasakit na ulo mo yung time that you would be you will be going to a certain period na pag binabasa mo hindi mo na maintindihan yung binabasa mo may mga ganyan okay and those are the expectations that you have to mga hurdles na kailangan yung i-overcome kasi hindi siya bed of roses ma Masarap siyang pakinggan, pero it's a really hard work. It's really hard work. But at, at least, pag natapos nyo, proud kayo kasi na, nalampasan nyo yung mga hurdles na yan. So, I'm just giving you the inspiration kasi ako, I already almost give up. Kasi, 
yung yung alam niyo yung feeling that you already have squeezed your brain tapos alam mo okay na hindi pa pala ganun no? so i don't want you to be in that situation uh uh kailangan talaga meron kayong support system importante okay. yun mag push push na lang kayo <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mag ano mag tulungan kayo tapos pag siya naman nang nagdaan kayo ano kayo naman na mag-push sa kanya ganun hindi nandito ang sila eh pag nalaglag na siya siya na nasa ilalim oi push <laughs> ako na lang magpo-push sa inyo pag kayo lang naglaglag na lahat <laughs> but i'm telling you guys it's important to have support system okay yes yeah, so Kaya doon sa una pa lang, sabi ko sa inyo, kailangan dedicated, kailangan interested, at hindi kayo pinilit. Kasi hindi, wala talaga, hindi nyo matatapos pag hindi really kayo. You did not put your heart out into it. Hindi lang a simple decision. Because this is your future that you're talking about. And hindi naman ito like, how long are we going to live? 75, 85, 90, tapos you're just gonna give 9 months for this. O para din naman para sa maximization yung life. No? But then, syempre, we are now in the IT age. You can just copy Google everything, di ba? But this is highly um uh, not tolerable in this case. no So, we don't want plagiarism. Ayaw natin nang kinokopya niya lang from anywhere, somewhere out there over the rainbow. At bawal magkopyahan ng assignment. That's called collusion. Okay? And uh, to avoid plagiarism, we always make sure that yung context ng workplace ninyo, lagi nyo nababanggit. Bisabihin, kasi yung yung classmate nyo, iba naman kung saan siya nagtatrabaho. So, that's how you're gonna make the assignment original. So, I'm gonna push you to always put the name of your company doon kung saan ka nagtatrabaho and then apply the concept. Ganon siya. Okay? Para ma hindi kayo magparehas. Kasi parehas lang ng question na sinasagot nyo, no? So, you really have to make it original by putting on your own original input. Yun ang kailangan doon. That's how a master student should think. Always laging not, hindi kagaya ng high schooler or bachelors that you're gonna question, answer. Sa ulo, question, answer, di ba? O memorize, hindi na ganun. This is more on of your own understanding, reflective practice talaga. Okay? So, I'll be giving you sources on how to do that. And kailangan gagaw ka ng reference list like this at the end of your assignment. Importante. Kaya nga nung nag-OM kayo, yeah. sinasabi ko na, para pag, pag nag-plan kayo dito, hindi na kayo ma- ha? Ano yan? Bakit ganun? No? So, hindi na kayo ma-wiwindang, sabi ko nga. And then, dito, pagpunta nyo naman ng MBA, na rin kayo luluha doon. Okay? Kasi prepared na kayo. Okay. So, I'll be giving you sources on how you can easily make it. Si Miss Anna, alam na alam na niya to. <laughs> and uh, when I was studying Mano-mano Wala ako nun Okay wow. I did this uh, Like this Bibigyan ka lang nila ng guide oh, Ito yung guide ha Ganyan Then um, Okay you have to do your Your reference list O oh, kung nakakuha ako ng E-journal article For example I'm gonna have to write The name of the author The year of publication The article title And the volume And issue numbers And page blah 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 And then this is the entry so, ito lang yung guide ko nung nag-aral ako. Wala akong skipper. O, oh, diba? Yun, papasok mo na lang yung website. Siya na mag-generate ng, ng index citation for you and your re re list for that. So, madali na lang para sa inyo kasi nandun na lahat ng resources, no? So, it would uh, you would not have any reason to quit. Ang reason lang siguro mag-quit kayo pag nag-surrender na. Okay, but in terms of... <laughs> Sabay turo agad. <laughs> tulungan lang. Tulungan, no? Support system. Because really, it's not difficult. Uh, it's not that easy. <laughs> Hindi naman mahirap kung interesado, no? Uh, how do we check your assignments? Okay, so syempre, merong grading system. Okay, but the grading system is not 75, 95. Okay, hindi ganun. Uh, this is the rubric. Or yung... Um, pamantasan ng grieving of giving of grades. So, we're gonna um, assess your assignment through following criteria. So, yung content, yung application ng theory, yung knowledge ninyo, yung presentation and writing skills, um, yung referencing is part of the grade. Okay? So, yung content, kung you are describing the main ideas, for example, O, oh, ba? So, you describe the main ideas with evidence of evaluation. Meron kayong some original thinking, that means you give examples that are uh, your experience-based, kung ano yung experience ninyo. Again, yung example doon. 
That's some of your original thinking. Pagdating naman sa application of theory, we have learned some concept, for example. No? Like, for example, Belvin Team Theory. Na-apply ba yan sa workplace ninyo? Okay? Or the theory of mass lobes of needs, for example. So, nailagay mo, na-discuss mo, or maybe kulang siguro. <laughs> Yeah, we can we can learn about it. So, kung, kung kunyari limited yung application ng theory mo, meron kang konting reference, pero hindi mo siya consistently mentioned, then you might as well get a 40 or 45. no? So, pag sinabing 40, that means you have a grade of 40 to 49. Pag sa 50 naman, 50 to 59 yun. Okay? And so on and so forth. So, yung referencing ninyo is a part of your grade. So, pag hindi kayo gumawa ng referencing ninyo, um, uh, hindi maganda ang uh, skills ninyo, mababa rin ang grade nyo. So therefore, you will, be, you will be forced to teach yourself how to make referencing. Okay? And so, ang gagawin natin, we're gonna add all your grades there. For example, here, 50, 50, 40, ganyan. And then it falls into 220 divided by 5 kasi merong 5 criteria. So the grade is 44. Therefore, you are on basic. Okay? And I will not allow my students to have 40 to 49. Ipaparevise ko sa'yo hanggang makakuha ka ng proficient. Okay? Because um I don't want students coming from me. <laughs> Wala pa naman nakaka-40, no? Wala pa naman. Wala pa naman. Okay? So, because I will really not allow. Uh, I will not allow my students na, ah, yung product ni Miss Aisha ganito. Hindi. I will do my best na ang lalabas na assignment to is 50 to 59 and higher. And it should be justified. Dapat lalabas. Okay? O oh, kahit mag-overnight tayo ng additional one hour para lang maintindihan mo, I will do it. Okay? Kasi ayoko nang nasa ganong margin ng mga level 7 students. Okay? Because I want to be proud of you and I want you to be proud of yourselves pag kayo na ang nakakuha ng, ano, ng, ng, ng certifications niyo. So, in the end, ang lalabas na grade niyo guys is past merit and distinction. Okay? Ganyan. So, Kung lahat ng modules ninyo are at 70%, there's a probability na ang inyong um, qualification grade is distinction. Okay? So, ganyan. May questions ba? Okay, so ano ba yung, paano ba yung assessment process natin bago tayo mag-end? So, the, the first thing that we're going to do is... Um, Una, sasamit yung assignment nyo, then I will grade your assignment. Then, uh, this is applicable for all UK qualification courses, kahit sa mga ibang courses like accounting, health and social care, IT. Dito rin dumadan sa ganitong process, no? And then, um, after ko ma-check, if it needs to be revised, it's revised. Pag hindi, okay lang. Then, we're gonna go for external verification. So, from us, ICSA, it just check naman ng awarding body. Meron ulit mag-check doon. And it will take around three months. Okay? Kapag wala naman silang issues, for example, wala silang issues sa plagiarism mo, okay? As, uh, by the way, I'm also gonna provide you your plagiarism report. So, magpo-produce pa ako ng plagiarism report video. And I will help you out na hindi kayo lalampas dun sa margin. Okay, then, magpapa-authenticate kayo if gusto nyo. It will take uh, more than or more or less two weeks. Then, delivery to quit ng inyong diploma would be seven to ten days. Okay? May questions ba kayo, guys? Any questions? Wala. Okay, so, mag-show off ulit ako. Mag-reflex lang ulit. <laughs> Just to inspire you. So, yan, ilang, sna ilang snapshots sa aking picture doon nung ako'y nagpunta. Ayan. Mga konti lang. Hindi ko nilagay lahat kasi baka magsawa kayo. Okay. <laughs> May questions ba kayo? Any questions? So, yung class mo, mag-start na ang oras mo? Uh, the, the class is, uh, the normal schedule I have is morning, 10.30 to 12 uh, sa umaga ng Friday. Pero kung uh, ma-open natin ng afternoon, ano ba ang gusto nyo yung preferred time? So, I will tell them to adjust the time. Gusto nyo ba ng hapon or sa umaga? Kailan mag-start yung second batch mo? Uh, that means limit ka na. So, mm -hmm. But you can start as soon as you can actually. Ano oras? Sige, mag-adjust sa oras ng 10. Oo nga, Miss oh, Teen. Pwede ka ba na? Ako 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 pass ng Friday. Wala akong programa sa Friday. Ah, okay. Afternoon, para makatulog. <laughs> may pasok ko kasi ako every day. Ah, oo nga pala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afternoon na lang, same. 
Same naman. Ganto na lang yan. 3 o'clock. Management natin. Or 3. 1. Three na lang. Three to four thirty or three to five ganyan two hours. Friday. Pero support group. <laughs> okay. So may tanong pa? Yeah, 120. Choice nyo yun, hindi siya mandatory. If you want, if hindi, ayos lang. Mm. Ang ginagawa ng student namin is uh, pinapa-authenticate nila sa Kuwait Embassy sa UK. Ganun. So, tatatakan ng Kuwait Embassy sa UK. Tapos... I will check kung may sample na diploma. Pakita ko sa inyo. Please, <laughs> 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 